it'll start in a minute. Yeah, I think it started, so. Yeah, it starts. Okay. Bandeham Bandeham Shiguro Shiata, Barakam Lam Shigurun Vaishnavam Scha, Shirupam Sagrajatam Saganaragana Tambitam Tam Sajivam, Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Shirana Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivishavik. Shri Vishikam Vitamscha, Oma Jnana Timaranda Sha, Yanajana Shalakya Chakshurun, Itam Yena Tasma, Shri Gurave Nama, Gurva Bistam Supurakam Gurgana Rasi Shasambushitam, Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipunam, Shri Rupa Patanugam, Govinda Vidam Ujwalam, Bharatanam Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram, Bande Vishwa Gurun Sha, Divyad Bhagavat Prem Noe Bijapradam, Devum divyatanum suchandavaranam balarka chelan shitam, Sandrananda puram sarekavaranam vairagya vidyambunim, Sri Siddhanta nidim subhakti lasitam, Saraswatanam baram banditam shubaram marekashananam yashishrara shidaram, Banchakopatarubyas cha kripa sindhu bhyevicha, Patitanam pavenibyo vaishnave bhyonamonama, Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gora Tavishe Nama So today I'm starting with a reading of the Sri Chaitanya Bhagwat by Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur. So we'll start with the, of course, with the uh, Adikanda, first verse. Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat Ki Jai. Ajanu Lambita Bujo Kanaka Badato Sankirtanai Kapitaro Kamalaya Taksho Vishvambaro Dvijavaro Jugadharma Palo Bande Jagat Priyakaro Karunavataro I offer my respectful obeisances unto Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Nityananda Prabhu, whose arms extend down to their knees, who have golden yellow complexions, and who inaugurate a congregational chanting of the holy names of the Lord. Their eyes resemble the petals of a lotus flower. They are the maintainers of living entities, the best of the Brahmins, the protectors of religious principles for this age, the benefactor the benefactors of the universe and the most merciful of all incarnations. So they came, they inaugurated the Sankirtan movement, Nityananda Prabhu and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Namastri Kala Satyaya Jagannatha Sutayaja Sabritjaya Saputraya Sakala Trayate Namaha. O my Lord, you are eternally existing in the past, <coughs> present, and future, yet you are the son of Sri Jagannath Mishra. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you, along with your associates, your devotee servants, your sons, your Goswami disciples, or the processes of devotional service, such as uh, the congregational chanting of the holy name, and your consorts, who according to regulative principles refer to Vishnu Priya, who is Bhu Shakti, Lakshmi Priya, who is Sri Shakti, and Navadip, which is Nila, Lila, or Durga, and according to devotional principles, refer to the two Gadadhars, Narahari, Ramananda, Jagadananda, and others. According to regular principles, the consorts of Sri Gaur Narayan or Vishnu Priya. Gaur Narayan is the aspect of Mahaprabhu in Navadip. According to regular principles, the consorts of Sri Gaur Narayan or Vishnu Priya, who is Bhu Shakti, Lakshmi Priya, who is Sri Shakti, and Sri Navadip Dham, which is Nila, Lila, or Durga. According to devotional principles, the consorts of Sri Gaur Govinda or Sri Gadadhar Pandit, Sri uh, 
Gadahadhar Das, Sri Narahari, Sri Jagannanda, Sri Vakeshwara, Sri Ramananda, Sri Rupa, Sanatana, and other Goswamis. Srila Kaviraj Goswami has written in his Chaitanya Charitamrita, one of them is Mahaprabhu and the other two are Prabhus. These two Prabhus serve the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu. And of course that refers to Sri Nityananda Prabhu and Sri Advaita Charya. Avatirno Sakarunyo Parichina Sad Ishwaro Shri Krishna Chaitanya Nityanando Dobrataro Baje Avatirno Sakaruna Sakarunyo Parichino Sad Ishwaro Shri Krishna Chaitanya Nityanando Dobarato Baje I worship the two brothers, Sri Krishna Chaitanya and Sri Nityananda, who have descended in this world as the supreme controllers. They have appeared in covered forms as the embodiments of mercy. So Jayati Vishuddha Vikrama Kanakabo Kamalaya Tekshano Varajanu Vilambi Shadbujo Bahuda Bhakti Rasa Binar Binar Taka Sajayati Vishuddha Vikrama Kanakaba Kamal Kamalaya Takshana Varajanu Vilambi Shadbujo Bahuda Bhakti Rasa Binar Taka all glories to Sri Gaura Sundar, whose powerful activities are supremely pure, whose bodily complexion is like molten gold, whose eyes are like lotus petals, whose six beautiful arms extend to his knees, and whose heart is inundated by loving devotional sentiments as he enjoys dancing in various ways during kirtan. So this is referring to the Sadbuja form of Mahaprabhu. Jayati Jayati Deva Krishna Chaitanya Chandra Jayati Jayati Kirtis Tasya Nitya Pavitra Jayati Jayati Brityas Tasya Vishvesha Murter Jayati Jayati Nrityam Tasya Sarva Priyanam All glories to Sri Krishna Chaitanya All glories to Sri Krishna Chaitanya Chandra who is the fully independent Supreme Personality of Godhead and the abode of transcendental pastimes. All glories to his eternally pure activities. Sri Gaurasundar is the controller of all other controllers, the Lord of the universe and the embodiment of transcendental knowledge. All glories to his devotees and all glories to the dancing of his beloved associates. Adye Sri Chaitanya Priya Gostira Charane Asesha Prakare Mora Danda Paraname In the beginning I offer unlimited obeisances to the feet of the loving confidential devotees of Lord Sri Chaitanya. Tabe Bandon Sri Krishna Chaitanya Maheshwar Nabadipe Avatar Nama Vishvambara I then offer my obeisances to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna Chaitanya. He incarnated in Navadip and he is known as Vishvambar. Amara Bhaktir Puja Amahoite Bora Se Prabhu Bede Bhagavate Koila Dara. That same Supreme Lord has declared in the Vedas and Srimad Bhagavatam, worship of my devotees is superior to worship of me. Madbhakta Puja Bhyadika Sarva Bhutesha Manmati. Worshipping my devotees is better than directly worshipping me. When the great devotee Uddhava inquired about, okay, let's see. 
When the great devotee Uddhava inquired about pure devotional service and knowledge of the Supreme Lord for the welfare of the living entities, Lord Krishna glorified his devotees in this verse from the Srimad Bhagavatam while describing the various limbs of pure devotional service. Eteke korila age bhaktera bandhan ateva ache karya sidera lakan I have therefore offered my prayers first to the devotees as this is the secret for attaining perfection. Ishta deva bandhan mora nityananda rai chaitanya kirti swore jahara kripai I offer my respectful obeisances unto Sri Nityananda Rai, for he is my worshipable Lord. By his mercy, the glories of Lord Chaitanya become manifest. Sahasra Bandana Bandon Prabhu Balaram Jahara Sahasra Muke Krishna Yashodam Sahasra Bandana Bandon Prabhu Balaram Jahara Sahasra Muke Krishna Yashodama, I offer my respectful obeisances unto the thousand-headed Lord Balaram. His thousands of mouths are the abode of Lord Krishna's transcendental glories. Maharatna Thui Jena Mahapriyastane Yashoratna Bandara Sri Ananda Bharane Lord Ananta's mouths are the storehouse of the gem-like glories of Lord Krishna, for valuable jewels are kept in a most appropriate place. Atevage Balaram Erastavana Korile Se Muke Swore Chaitanya Kirtana Therefore, in the beginning, I offer my prayers to Lord Balaram so that the glories of Lord Chaitanya will manifest from my mouth. So, here we... See, this is being uh, spoken, presented, written by, um, we're speaking, and this is written by Vrindavan Das Thakur, and he, of course, is the, di the disciple of Nityananda Prabhu. So, he's glorifying Balaram, understanding that Nityananda is that person who appears as Balaram. Sahasrega. Vanadara Prabhu Balaram Jateka Koraye Prabhu Sakala Udam. Lord Balaram has thousands of hoods and all of his activities are extraordinary. Haladharama Prabhu Prakanda Sharir Chaitanya Chandra Yashomata Mahadir. The Supreme Lord Balaram carries a plow and possesses a gigantic body. Although he is accept uh, Although he is exceptionally grave, he is intoxicated by the glories of Lord Chaitanya. Tatodika Chaitanyera Priya Nahiyar Nirabadi Seidehe Korana Bihar There is no one more dear to Lord Chaitanya than Nityananda. Therefore, Lord Chaitanya always enjoys pastimes within him. Tahara Charitra Jeva Jani Shune Gai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Tare Parama Sahai Shri Krishna Chaitanya is most satisfied with one who chants or hears the characteristics of Lord Nityananda. Mahaprita Hoi Tare Mahesh Parvati Jibaya Swaraye Tara Shuddha Saraswati. Lord Shiva and Parvati also become pleased with such a person, and the transcendental goddess of learning, Saraswati, manifest on his tongue. One who is glorifying Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Parvati Prabhriti, Parvati Prabhriti, Nabar Buddha Narilaya. Sankarsana Puja Shiva Upasakahaya, along with Parvati and innumerable maidservants, Lord Shiva engages in the worship of Sh Shankarshan. Panchaskandare Bhagavat Kata Sarva Vaishnavera Bhandya Balaram Gata. The topics in the fifth canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam 
concerning Lord Balram, the original Shankarshan, are glorified by all, Va Va by all Vaishnavas. Tanarasa Kridakata Parama Udar Vrindavane Gopisane Korila Bihar. The narrations of Lord Balram's Rasa Lila pastimes with the Gopis in Vrindavan are most exalted. Dui Masa Vasanta Madhava Madhu Name Hala Juda Rasa Krita Kohaye Purane The Puranas described how describe the Puranas describe how Lord Balaram performs his Rasa Lila in the two months of spring, Madhav and Madhu. Say Sakala Shloke Shuna Bhagavate Sri Sukha Kohen Shune Raja Parikite. Now please hear those verses that were spoken by Sukadeva Goswami to Parikshit Maharaj in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Dwo maso tatra chavat sin madum madhava me vacha rama shapasu bhagavan gopinam ratim avan. Lord Balaram, the personality of God, resided there for the two months of Madhu and Madhava, and during the nights he gave his cowherd girlfriends conjugal pleasure. Purna Chandra Kalam Rishte Komudi Ganda Bayuna Yamuno Pabane Reme Sevite Striganar Brita in the company, company of numerous women, Lord Balaram enjoyed in a garden by the Jamuna River. This garden was bathed in the rays of the full moon and caressed by breezes, bearing the fragrance of night-blooming lotuses. Upagiya mano gandharvar vanita shobi mandale reme kaninu Reme karenu yute sho mahendra eva var varana nidur dundu bayo yomni vabrishu kushamar muda gandharva munayo raman tadviryar idare tada. As the gandharvas sing the glories of Lord Balaram. As the Gandharva sing his glories, Lord Balaram enjoyed within the brilliant circle of young women. He appeared just like Indra's elephant, the lordly Airavata, enjoying in the company of the she elephants. At that time, kettle drums resounded in the sky. The Gandharvas joyfully rained down flowers, and the great sages pra praised Lord Balaram's heroic deeds. Yestri Sangam Muni Gane Konana Nindan Taral Tam Ramera Rase Korana Stavama Jestri Sangam Muni Gane Korana Nindan Taral Ramera Rase Korana Stavan Sages condemn the association of women, yet they glorify Lord Baram's association with the cowherd girls in the rasa dance. Well, this may appear contradictory. Hmm? Sages condemn the association of women, yet they glorify Lord Balaram's association with the cowherd girls in the rasa dance. So here we find that Vrindavan Das Sakura is explaining that the mood of Balaram engaging in the uh, we may call it the Rasa Lila during uh, when he visited Vrindavan that uh, normally sages will condemn association with women but yet these activities are praised. So then it, it gives you the idea that Lord Balaram is doing this as service. Jara Rasa Deviyashi Pushpa Vrishtikore Deve Jane Beta Nahi Krishna Haladare. The demigods came and showered flowers on his Rasa Lila because they knew there is no difference between Krishna and Balaram. Charivedi Gupta Balaram Charita Amiki Baliba Sab 
Purane Bidita, the characteristics of Lord Balaram are confidential to the Vedas, but they are elaborated in the Puranas. What will I describe? Murkadoshi keho keha na deki puran balaram rasa krita kori apraman. Due to foolishness, some people neglect the puranas and refuse to accept the authenticity of balaram's rasa lila. Ek thai dui bai gopi ke samajai. Ek thai dui bai gopi ke samajai. Korilena Rasa Krita Vrindavana Maje. The two brothers, Krishna and Balaram, both performed Rasa Krita pastimes in the company of the gopis at the same place in Vrindavan. Karachid Atta Govindo Ramas Chadbhuta Vikrama Vijaratur Vane Ratriyam Madhya Go Braja Yoshitam Karachirata Govindo Ram Ramas Chadbhuta Vikrama Vijaratur Vane Ratriyam Madhya Go Braja Yoshitam Once Lord Govinda and Lord Rama, the performers of wonderful feats, were playing holy in the forest at night with the young girls of Raja. Upagi Yamano Lalitam Strijanar Bara Suridai Sa Alangritanu Liptango Stagvino Virajom Baro, Krishna and Balaram wore flower garlands and spotless garments, and their limbs were beautifully just decorated and anointed. The women sang their glories in a charming way, bound to them by affection. Nisha Mukam Manayantav Udito Dupatarakam Malika Ganda Matali Jushtam Kumuda Vayuna. The two lords praised the nightfall, signaled by the rising of the moon and the appearance of stars, a lotus scented breeze and bees intoxicated by the fragrance of jasmine flowers. So the two lords praised the nightfall, signaled by the rising of the moon and the appearance of stars a lotus-scented breeze and bees intoxicated by the fragrance of jasmine flowers. Jagatu sarva bhutanam mana shravana mangalam to kaupayanto yugapat svara mandala murchitam. Krishna and Balaram sang, producing the entire range of musical sounds simultaneously. Their singing brought happiness to the ears and minds of all living beings. Bhagavata Shuni Jara Ramina Hiprita Vishnu Vaishnavera Pate Sejana Varjita. One who has no love for Lord Balram after hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam is rejected by both the Lord and his devotees. Bhagavata Jaina Mani Se Javana Sam Tara Shasta Ache Janme Janme Prabhu Jam. One who does not accept Srimad Bhagavatam is no better than a Yavana, and Lord Yamaraj punishes him birth after birth. Okay. Maharaj, when's your appointment? Um, we Bhagavata Jain Namani Se Yavana Sam Tara Shasta Che Janme Janme Prabhu Jam. One who does not accept Srimad Bhagavatam is no better than a Yavana, and Lord Yamaraj punishes him birth after birth.
Ekeha keha napum shaka beshinache bole balarama rasa kon shastriache. Nowadays, some faithless persons, eunuchs, challenge him. Which scripture is Balaram's Rasa Lila described? Well, it says. Describes these, those who criticize here are described as eunuchs. Nowadays, some faithless persons, eunuchs, challenge him. Which scripture is Balaram's Rasa Lila described? Kon papi shastra deki leha nahimane ekarte anya arte koriya vakane. Some sinful persons do not accept this pastime, even if they read about it in the scriptures. They distort the actual meaning of the scriptures into some other meaning. Now, here we can see Vrindavan Das Thakur. He doesn't, he's not known for mincing his words. Some sinful persons do not accept the pastime, do not accept this pastime. Even if they read about in the scriptures, they distort the actual meaning of the scriptures into some other meaning. So that pastime was described. They say, in which scripture is Balaram's Rasa Lila described? But these, such persons do not accept this pastime. Even if they read about it in the scriptures, they distort the actual meaning the scriptures into some other meaning. Chaitanya Chandra Priya Vigraha Balai Tanastani Aparade More Sarvatai Lord Nityananda is the dearmost object of Sri Chaitanya Chandra. Therefore anyone who commits an offense is at his lotus feet is vanquished. Sri Achyutananda, the son of Sri Advaita Prabhu, served Lord Hari under the guidance of Sri Gadadhar Pandit. Although two of Advaita's other sons sometimes accepted the guidance of Lord Chaitanya, there is no mention of their devotion for the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. One of Sri Advaita Prabhu's sons was named Balaram, and his son was Madhusudan. He was particularly affectionate towards the Smarta Raghunandana, the Smarta Raghunandana Bhattacharya, the son of Harihara Bhattacharya of Bandagat. The sons of Madhusudana Radha Raman uh, Bhattacharya followed the path of the Smartas and became faithless towards Sri Nityananda Baladev. The author of Chaitanya Bhagwat, who was a pure devotee and spiritual master, has perhaps written these verses with these people in mind. The statements of Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur are not in a inapplicable to the unqualified descendants of Sri Nityananda Prabhu's disciples. Murti Vede Apane Hoyana Prabhu Das Sesab Lakana Avatare Prakash Lord Balaram appears in various forms as a servant of the Lord. He manifests these symptoms in his various incarnations. Sakabai Vyajana Sakabai Vyajana Shayana Abahan Griha Chatra Bastra Jata Bhushana Asan Lord Balaram serves Krishna in ten different ways as his friend, brother, fan, bed, carrier, residence, umbrella, garments, ornaments, and sitting place. Okay. Apane sakala rupe sevan apane jare anugraha koren pai sejane. In all these forms, he serves himself. Whoever receives his mercy can understand uh, this truth. In all these forms, he serves himself. Whoever receives his mercy can understand this truth. So Lord Balaram serves Krishna in ten different ways as his friend, brother, fan, bed, carrier, residence, umbrella, garments, ornaments, and sitting place. In all these forms he serves himself. Whoever receives his mercy can understand this truth. Well, in the sense that all these, so many of these uh, accompany, 
so many things like the umbrella and the bed and all that. They're to serve. Uh, they're to serve Lord Krishna, his brother. But at the same time, he is expressing the full conception of divinity. So, in all these forms, he serves himself. Whoever receives his mercy can understand that this truth. There's no real difference between Mahaprabhu and Nityananda in the sense of that Balaram is expansion of Krishna. Nivasa shayasana madukam shuko padana varshatapa varanadibi sharira bedais tattva sheshatam gatar yatochitam sesha itirite janai. O my Lord, when will I satisfy you and Lakshmi, who are both seated? on the bed of Ananta. Although he is your transcendental personal expansion, he has accepted your service in the form of your residence, bed, sitting place, slippers, garments, um, pillow, and umbrella. Therefore, he is appropriately named by people as Seisha. Anantara Amsha Sri Garuda Mahabali Lilaya Balaye Krishna Hanya Kutuhali The most powerful Sri Garuda, the expansion of Anantadev. The most powerful Sri Garuda, the expansion of Anantadev, enjoys his pastimes as Sri Krishna's carrier. So the most powerful Sri Garuda, the expansion of Anantadev, enjoys his pastimes as Krishna's carrier. Ki Brahma ki Shiva ki Sanakadi Kumar Vyasa Shuka Narada Adi Bhakta Namajar Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, the four Kumaras, Sanaka, Shama Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, the four Kumaras, Sanaka, Sanatana, Sanandana, and Sanat Kumar Vyasadev, Sukadeva Goswami, and Nanda are all pure devotees, eternal servants of the Lord. Sabar Pujita Sri Ananda Mahashai Zahasra Bandana Prabhu Bhakti Rasamoy Lord Sri Ananda is worshipped by all the uncontaminated devotees mentioned above. He has thousands of hoods, and is a reservoir of all devotional service. So, Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, the four Kumaras, which is which are Sanak, Sanaka, Sanatana, Sanandana, and Sanat Kumar. Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, the four Kumaras. Vyasadeva, Sukadeva Goswami, and Narada are all pure devotees, eternal, eternal servants of the Lord. Sabar Pujita Sri Ananda Mahashai, Sahasra Bandana Prabhu, Bhakti Rasamoy. Lord Sri Ananda is worshipped by all the uncontaminated devotees mentioned above. He has thousands of hoods and is a reservoir of all devotional service. Adideva Mahayogi Ishwara Vaishnava Mahimara Ante Iha Najanaye Sabha. Lord Ananta is the first incarnation of the Lord and the master of all mystic power. At the same time, he is a servant of God, a Vaishnava. Since there is no end to his glories, no one can understand him fully. Sevana Shunila Ebe Shuna Takurao Atmatare Jena Mate Vaishena Padilao Sevananda Shi Sevana Shunila Ebe Shuna Takurao Atmatandre Jena Mate Vaishena Patala. I have already spoken to you of Ananta Dave's influence. I have already spoken to you of Ananda Dave's influential service to the Lord. Now, please, 
Now we hear how the self-sufficient Ananta exists in the lower planetary systems. Sri Narada Gosai Tamburu Kori Sange Seyasha Gayana Brahma Stane Shloka Bande Bearing Bearing his stringed instrument, the Tumburu, on his shoulders, the great sage Narad Muni always glorifies Lord Ananta in Brahma's assembly. Narada Muni has composed many transcendental verses in praise of the Lord. Utpati stiti loi hetavo shakopana sadvadya prakriti guna jad ish yad ish ikshaya utpati stiti laya hetavo shakopa sadvadya prakriti guna yad ikshaya san yad rupam druvam akritam yad ekam atman Nanadat katama, nanadat katam u ha veda tasya vartama. By his glance, the Supreme Personality of God it enables the modes of material nature to act as the cause of universal creation, maintenance, and destruction. The Supreme Soul is unlimited and beginningless, and although he is one, he has manifested himself in many forms. How can human society understand the waves? Pardon me. How can human human society understand the ways of the supreme? Mortimna puru kripaya babhara sadvam samshudam sad asadi idam vibarti tatra yau lilam rigat patir adade navadyam. Uh, adatum svajana manas manamsi udaravirya. The manifestation of subtle and gross matter exists within the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Out of causeless mercy towards his devotees, he exhibits, he exhibits various forms which are all transcendental. The Supreme Lord is most liberal and he possesses all mystic power to to conquer the minds of his devotees and give pleasure to their hearts. He appears in different incarnations and manifests uh, many pastimes. Yanama Shruta Manukirtayad Akasmad Artova Yadi Patita Pralamban Bandanadva Hanti Ama Sapati Pardon me. Andiyama sapadi rinam sheshamanyam kam sheshad bhagavata ashrayan mamukshu. Even if he be dis distressed or degraded, any person who chants the holy name of the Lord, having heard it from a bona fide spiritual master, is immediately purified. Even if he chants the Lord's name jokingly or by chance, he and anyone who he and anyone who hears him are freed from all sins. Therefore, therefore, how can anyone seeking a disentanglement from the material clutches avoid chanting the holy chanting the name of Lord Sesha? Of whom else should one take shelter? Even if he be distressed or degraded, any person who chants the holy name of the Lord, having heard it from a bona fide spiritual master, is immediately purified. Even if he chants the Lord's name jokingly or by chance, he and anyone who hears him are freed by all acts, all sins, are freed from all sins. Therefore, how can anyone seeking disentanglement, disentanglement from the material clutches avoid chanting the name of Lord Sesha, of, of whom else should one take shelter? Murdani Arpitam Manuvat Sahasra Murdno Bugolam Sagari Sarit Samudra Satavam 
Murdani Arpitam Anuvat Sahasra Murdno Bugolam Shangirir Murdani Arpitam Anuvat Sahasra Murdno Bugolam Sagiri Sarit Samudra Satvam Anantyad Animita Bikramasya Bumna Ko Viryani Adi Ganayet Sahasra Jiva because the Lord is unlimited, no one can estimate his power. This entire universe, filled with its many great mountains, rivers, oceans, trees, and, and living entities, is resting just like an atom on one of his many thousands of hoods. Is there anyone, even with thousands of tongues, who can describe his glories? Avam Brahma. So let's see. I'll go back. Here. Even if he be distressed or degraded, any person who chants the holy name of the Lord, having heard it from a bona fide spiritual master, is immediately purified. Even if he chants the Lord's name jokingly or by chance, he and anyone who hears him are freed from all sins. Therefore, how can anyone seeking disentanglement from the material clutches avoid chanting the, the name of Lord Sesha, of whom else should one takes shelter. Murdani arpitam anuvat sahasra murno bugolam sagari sarit samudra satpam anantyad animita vrikramasya bhumna ko viryani adi ganayet sahasra jiva. Bring in the Lord. Because the Lord is unlimited, no one can estimate his power. This entire universe filled with its many great mountains, rivers, oceans, trees, and other and living entities is resting just like an atom on one of his entities. Uh, pardon me. Because the Lord is unlimited, no one can estimate his power. This entire universe filled with filled with its many great mountains, rivers, oceans, trees, and living entities, is resting just like an atom on one of his many thousands of hoods. Is there anyone, even with thousands of tongues, who can describe his glories? In his Krama Sandarbha commentary on the Srimad Bhagavatam, Sri Jiva Goswami says that because the form of the Supreme Lord is immeasurable, the universe naturally appears small in comparison with him. At the hospital, Clyde the car back to the college. And he, he, he left for the hospital. Oh, he's yeah, well, tell him he, he, left for, he, he left for the hospital. Okay. Uh, uh, hello? Can you, can, you, can you write down the information that they tell you? I will. Okay, thanks. In his, in his Krama Sandarbha commentary on the Srimad Bhagavatam, Sri Jiva Goswami says that because the form of the Supreme Lord is immeasurable, the universe naturally appears small in comparison with him. Evam prabhava bhagavan ananto duranta vi viryoru gananu bhava mule rasaya stira atmatar tantro Yo Lilaya Shamam Stitaye Bibarti Evam Brabavo Bhagavan Ananto Durantavir Yoru Gunanu Bhava Mule Rasaya Stita Atmatandro Yo Lilaya Shamam Stitaye Bibarti There is no end to the great and glorious qualities of that powerful Lord and on today. Indeed, his prowess is unlimited. Though self-sufficient, he himself is the support of everything. He resides beneath the lower planetary system and easily sustains the whole universe. Shristi stiti pralaya satvari jatad gan jaradrishte pate hoi jai Puna Puna, simply due to the glace, simply due to the glance of Lord Ananda, the three material modes of nature interreact and produce creation, maintenance, and annihilation. These modes of nature 
appear again and again. Advitiya rupa satya nadi mahatva tatapi ananta hoi che ke buche se tatva. The Lord is glorified as one without a second and as the supreme truth who has no beginning. Therefore, he is called Anandadev, unlimited, who can understand his ways. The Supreme Lord is glorified as one without a second and as the supreme truth who has no beginning. Therefore, he is called Anandadev, unlimited, who can understand his glories, who can understand his ways. Shuddha Sattva Murti Prabhu, Dare, darena karunaya vigrahe shabar prakasha sulilaya. His form is completely spiritual and he manifested only by his mercy. All the activities in this material world are conducted within his form. So, now here we're hearing the glories. Of Ananta Dev, the Lord is glorified as one without a second, and as the supreme truth who has no beginning. Therefore, he is called Ananta Dev, unlimited, who can understand his ways. Shuddha Sattva Murti Prabhu Dharina Karunai, Che Vigrahai Sabar Prakasha Shunilai. His form is completely spiritual, and he manifests it only by his grace. Uh, Pardon me. His form is completely spiritual and he manifests it only by his mercy. All the activities in this material world are conducted within his form. So I'm going to stop here and tomorrow we'll continue. We're beginning with the Chaitanya Bhagwat of Srila Vrindavan Nasaku. Okay. Hmm. Can you do one thing? Just, just take this, disconnect this one, just that wire, yeah. Just don't touch there. This. Come on.